This is the Manfrotto, I can never remember, 561 BHDV monopod. And it's my favorite, it's my favorite stabilizer um, when I am out in the field, outside of this studio. Right now, my camera's on a tripod, so I need that so I can sit here and film myself. But anytime I'm behind the camera, I'm walking around, I'll put the camera on here, I can carry it right on my shoulder. It has these awesome feet that retract when you don't need them. And when you do need them, you put this on the ground and it makes it super steady. This goes on the ground and it pivots around. In fact, it'll even stand up. Oh wait. Put it right on the ground and it stands up on its own. So I love this thing because it gives me the ability to move fast. I don't have to drop three legs and then get it balanced. I just set this on the ground, put my camera on top. I shoot, I get a couple of fake sort of slider moves, a couple of fake dolly moves, things you can do, tricks you can do, but really it's all about stabilization giving me that tripod look, because if I have the camera here and I hold it steady, it's a fantastic looking shot. So when I go out and I shoot something like an event, I'm always gonna put my camera on here. I can also put my audio recorder on here. I can strap other things to it. And then when I need to move around, I just pick up and go. You can check the links in the description for this specific one. This one's a few years old. This was super popular a while back but they've come out with a whole bunch of them. In fact, some of them might be better because the feet on there might actually be wider. They might be longer, and then therefore it's more stable when you're on the ground. I wouldn't put this down and walk away from it, but I can stand right next to it and get a tripod-like look, or it is a tripod. Locked off shot, it's still, right? So look at the different ones. They even have carbon fiber. This one is not carbon fiber, it's aluminum, but it's not heavy and carried around all day long and it's not a problem. And it has a plate here, just you put your camera on and it they call it quick release. It's not really quick release. Quick release to me means that it goes, see, it's not quick. <laughs> it goes in there. Um, anytime it slides out, I wouldn't call that quick release. It has to snap on and snap off. You can add a plate on top of here to make it do that. And there may be some other video heads that already have that set up. But again, this lets you pan because the pan action actually turns like this. And that's actually happening at the base here. This is where it turns and you can adjust how tight or loose that piece is on the bottom. So you have the pan option via the base, the ball joint at the bottom, and then you can loosen here and you've got tilt options up and down. If you don't have image stabilization, that's another great use for this because you can put it on here and you're gonna get a really steady shot. It doesn't work that well, but I have in a pinch hold, held it like this, kind of like a gimbal, walked backwards following people walking and the shot worked pretty well inside a bigger project where you just see it for a quick second. So lots of things to do. This is one of my favorite pieces that I'd show it to you. Check the links in the description. I'll put some other cool monopods, probably in the same price range, maybe a little cheaper, maybe some a little bit more, so you can see the different ones. And if you're interested in, you can check those out. Ask questions in the comments. See you next time. Bound to get hurt or break something.